Hello, kindergarten. So, we have been reading a story, and yesterday we read it, and it was Miss Bittergarten takes her kin uh, takes a trip with kindergarten. Today we're gonna have you listen to that book one more time, but we, when we're doing that, we're gonna think about the characters, which are the people and the animals in the story. And the setting, which is where the story takes place. So, Miss Hockam always uses the three little bears with you, right? So, in the three little bears, who are the characters? Who are the people or the animals in the story? Good. You have Goldilocks. And you have Mama Bear and Papa Bear. And what's the last one? Good job, baby bear. So, we have four characters in The Three Little Bears. Now, we're going to talk about the setting for The Three Little Bears. Where did this story take place? So, where were the bears? Where did they leave? They left their house, right? And Goldilocks, while they were gone... She snuck in there, didn't she? And she ate their porridge, and she broke some chairs, and she fell asleep in their bed. So, where did this story take place? At the bear's house, right? That is the setting. That's where it happened. Now, Axel, can you bring me the book, please? Yep. All right, so now you're going to think about our story. Miss Bennergarten takes a field trip with kindergarten. And you're going to think about the characters. Okay, the characters in the story are, are the people or the animals in the story. So here they are. We have dogs and lizards and a hippo and a monkey and a bird. So you got to think about all the characters in our story. Also, you're going to think about the setting, where this story took place. Mm -hmm. Now, there's actually a few different settings in this story. They went a few different places, didn't they? So, when you do your assignment on Class Kick, remember that we're talking about Air Story. And Miss Hawkham is also going to post a video, a video of another read aloud of someone else reading this story. So, you've heard me read this story. You're going to hear it again. You may hear it another time. You never know. Now, let's talk about what you're going to do when you do your sentences. Axel, take this back for me. Back to the house, please. So, when you do your sentences, you're going to have a paper that looks like this. Now, yesterday, you had one that said, "Where? what did they do at the bakery? Today, it says, what did Miss Beaner Garden's class do at the post office? I've seen some very good drawings, but make sure that when you're writing on these, if you choose to use this paper, there it is, that you do your sentence down here on this, okay? You do your sentence down here on these lines, all right? So... Make sure to, I've seen lots and lots of people who did not start their sentences with capitals. So, you have to say the, capital T, right? The, and then use your crown. Space, class. You're going to go slow and Steady. Slow and steady wins the race, guys. And you're going to keep going. The class, What? tell me what they did at the post office. Now, like I've said many times before, parents, if you need to have your kid use paper, that's going to be a lot more beneficial because writing is truly writing, right, on paper. We don't actually write on computers. We all type, right? So, make sure that they're keeping in the train track, and they're riding very, very slow and spacing. Remember, start it with a capital, then you better, better 
Write a word and leave a space. Write a word and leave a space. Write a word and leave a space until the very end. And remember at the end, you can have three different things, can't you? You can have a period, an exclamation point, or a question mark. All right, see you guys later.